meters t34 and a chance of a treble here for the world record holder in terms of the Paralympic Games a new event Hannah Cockcroft has already won the 100 and the 400 the latter in a world record Carrier Denigan with silver in the one and bronze in the four Alexa Halko has also medaled in both events Franken of the Netherlands does not start. Rosemary Little of Australia from Sydney. Silver in the 200, bronze in the one. At the World Championships in Lyon and bronze in the 100 in the last Paralympic Games. Mel Nichols, who was ill for the 400 final. Silver in the eight in Lyon and the European Championships in Swansea. She's for Great Britain, lane six for the United States from Virginia. Alexa Halko, silver in the four and bronze in the one here. Behind Hannah Cockcroft, the double champion over 100 and 200 in London 2012. She's the three time world champion last year in Doha, seven world titles overall. And aiming for a fifth Paralympic crown here. Kare Hedenigan, the only athlete to beat her in the last eight years. Silver in the one and bronze in the four here. So three from Great Britain, one from the United States and Australia, with Franken out of the equation. Cockcroft, Halko and Hedenigan filling the podium for the 100 and the 400. This, the eight. So it's Adenigan in three, Cockcroft in five, Halko six, Nichols seven, and Rosemary Little in lane eight. Nichols off to a slower start, Cockcroft away, straight away. Again, again, trying to get on the inside in second place, and Little on the outside, taking up third for now. Nichols with a little bit of extra work to do, but it's Hannah Cockcroft who hits the front straight away, and she's motoring away well this is precisely what she wanted to do from the start not get caught up in traffic a good gap to rosemary little of australia in second place halko's now been third ahead of a denigan but it's hannah cockcroft who leads for great britain in front of the west stand of the engine out rosemary little of sydney her coach louise savage playing catch up third place halko fourth a denigan Little breaking up the podium that we've had from the two previous finals in this category. Here's the bell, and it's Cockcroft who leads. It's Little in second place, it's Halko in third. It's Denningen four, very close between those two. Fifth place is Mel Nichols, who was ill for that 400 final. We'll see how well she's recovered. She might have been a good candidate for a medal here, but it's Hannah Cockcroft way out in front. Rosemary Little in second place for Australia. Real battle of a third. Coming on the outside, Halko looking to accelerate. Edenigan just behind her in fourth. But it's all about Hannah Cockcroft at the moment. And now Little being overtaken by Halko and surely by Edenigan. That's a big battle for second place. But it's Hannah Cockcroft leading the way for Great Britain. And the rest are trying to close in on her. And she surely knows it. Cockcroft head down in the closing straight. Going for home for Great Britain and going for a hat trick of gold medals. And Hannah Cockcroft has done it. Two goals in London, three in Britain. Halko, the silver, Edenig in the bronze, Little in fourth place. It's the same podium again. And of the three medalists, it is actually Edenig who's celebrating the most. And Mel Nichols has her own, if you like, personal victory after illness during the week. But Hannah Cockcroft. Well, you can't keep a good champion down, and she's done it yet again. It's a hat trick of gold medals here, just as it was in the World Championships in Doha. And now she can relax. She's won everything she's entered. Two minutes, 0.62. The time doesn't really matter in the end. But it was a great margin of victory for her. And Halko taking up the silver. It's the same one, two, three as in the 400 in that order. For a moment, it looked as if Halko, having drawn out a Danigan and Rosemary Little, might have tried to do the same to Cockcroft. She did 
again towards the closing bend. But Hannah Cockcroft remains unbeatable. And she knew that and she broke them up early. And that was the tactic from uh, Hannah Cockcroft. Little did a lot of the work for Australia, but uh, she fatigued late. And the others were able to make up some ground at the end. And just for a fleeting moment at the top of the straight, you thought she could be catchable. But too strong, Hannah Cockcroft. What a star she is, an absolute champion. And that's been another dominant display for a gold medal here in the women's 800 metres as she comes to the line alone in the screen. Well, she's a real British sporting hero. Such a massive name in British sport, Hannah Cockcroft. And having won the one and the two, back in Christchurch to the World Championships in January 2011, She's never been beaten in a championship race, and it means the world to her. It's a magnificent hat-trick for Cockcroft, and she is in a class of her own. Hannah Cockcroft wins again. Two